for 150 years we built up a world based on the assumption that we can exploit the planet for free and it translates to very dramatic impact. We really are turning our planet into something that's being destroyed by the minute. The climate crisis is a threat multiplier, which means it exacerbates existing inequities in our society. The gap between high-income and low-medium-income countries is the access to resources and infrastructure. If those foundational aspects are not in check, the reality is that the digital divide is only going to be exacerbated. This transition we require a fast adoption of a lot of new technologies. And the question today is how to find the appropriate way to finance these technologies. To think of the energy transition as a cost is to misunderstand the problem. When government, private entrepreneurship, technological innovation and consumer choice come together, it goes like no economy goes in the world. Green skills are highly in demand right now. We need to figure out a way to reskill hundreds of millions of people. You have a greater need of cooperation, but also a greater fragmentation happening at the same time. Challenges like climate change, like refugees, like global poverty, require working together. The solutions are there. What we need is governments to regulate, to invest, and we need business to act with values. History will look at us, people, politicians, corporate leaders. These times require not only solutions, but speed. The Sustainable Development Goals are a blueprint for addressing these interconnected challenges. Accelerating progress on achieving these goals by 2030 has never been more important. Public-private partnerships are absolutely crucial to getting us there. It's not only in the interest of my community, but the interest of the world and the interest of the global economy to have a clear path to a sustainable, regenerative and stable future.